time now for the Diamond District, everyone. If you watch this segment regularly, you'd know that my next guest warned about this nearly two years ago, right here on the Diamond District. There's a pattern in all of this, starting with the April 15th tea parties, and now the town, the health care town halls gone wild. Well, he says we are, in fact, witnessing a second American revolution. Let me welcome back to Happy Hour Trends Research CEO, Gerald Salente. He's doing the Skype thing, so uh, bear with us. Uh, Gerald, good to see you again. We wish you were here in the bar. You predicted this when we first started Happy Hour nearly two years ago already, that we were going to be seeing these violent riots, town halls, uh, protests. You're right. We're seeing it. And this is just the beginning. This is the third shot of the second American Revolution, what we're seeing with these health protests. Shot one, as you mentioned, was the Tea Parties right. back in April 15th. Shot two was the Fourth of July protest. Throngs of people throughout the country took to the streets in protest of taxation without representation. Right. This is different this time. Go back to 2008. Remember the stimulus packages and how many people were so against them, but they had nowhere to voice their discontent. We were running 500 to 1 in congressional districts against them. But now, the senators and congressmen are a stone's throw away from the people, and they're letting the people know how angry they are. Health care is only one of the many straws of the revolution that's going to break the camel's back. Okay, so we know what all the other ones are. Uh, bailout for Wall Street. Uh, we can go on and on. What is the end result? In, in your, you know, your predictions have been right on, and your predictions are pretty extreme. So what are we expecting? We're going to see a lot more of what we're seeing now. You know, my Bronx saying is that when people lose everything and they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And you can see people losing it. This isn't like the baby boomers of the Woodstock generation. These are grown-ups, and they're toe-to-toe -to, -toe to their representatives saying, you know, get off your pedestal and stop the baloney. Okay, we don't what, want what do Washington we controlling us see? anymore. Uh, an You're robbing us blind. What are we going to see, though? An overthrow of the government? We're going to see the two, 2010 elections completely uh, change of all the leadership? Are we going to finally see a third real party? What? What are we going to see? What's the end result here? We're going to see a third party, we're forecasting. The name that we're giving it at this time is Progressive Libertarian. And by the way, back in 1988, in one of my books, Trend Tracking, I had forecast the rise of a new third party and mentioned Ross Perot. We have those same kind of emotions, but on steroids now. This is big. We could even see the breakup of America like the former Soviet Union. This isn't far-fetched. You see with all these Tenth Amendment uh, uh, regulations coming up, uh, uh, testimonials going on and on throughout the country, secessionist movements. People are fed up with a federal government that can't manage its own affairs telling the rest of the people how to manage theirs. Okay, so will that necessarily be a bad thing? You know, that's what a lot of people want. They want a real third political party that provides some competition and real choices. There are a lot of people out there who want states to have a lot more rights rather than the federal government. So what you're predicting, is that necessarily a bad thing from the, for, the, for this country? Well, no, it's not a bad thing because we have a two-headed, one-party system. It's a continuation of bad policies. They keep emboldening themselves by failures. Remember this first stimulus package? Tarp, we need it. we got to do it. It's going to save the day. Another stimulus package. I'll tell you what we're concerned about, Rebecca, is that they be, their failures are magnified into mega failures. And when all else fails, and this is true in history, the next step is war. Gerald Salente, the CEO of Trends Research, joining us via Skype on the Diamond District. Thank you, Gerald. Hey, thank you.